Look who's coming to see me. I just shot about 10 minutes without the video on. I was talking to my camera. <laughs> and I swear I'm not the best at the technology stuff, believe it or not. <laughs> I try to get better, but I forget to check myself. I just get an idea in my head of what I want to say to you all. And I just go with it. And then five, 10 minutes later, I look at the button looking for the timer to say how long I've been talking. Zero. What do you mean zero? <laughs> I just did half the video and it's gone. Okay, let's take two. So here we are. Anyway, uh, that little ducky was telling you that by that red bush right there, <laughs> that I'm doing red today, okay? I have a red Raquel Welsh wig on. And it's like a shag, you know, medium length, I'd say. Trendsetter in Cinnabar. And she's an R32 slash 31, if you're looking for her in particular. She's a dark auburn. <coughs> The frog in my throat <coughs> is not from the lake nearby. <laughs> Sorry about that. But um, I got her on eBay and I noticed that there's little short bangs here. Just maybe, just a, I don't know, a chunk of it. And it reminds me of how when you're at home and you don't want to go to the hairdresser with your bio hair, you can't remember back then. <laughs> but you think, I can get away with a couple more weeks. I don't have, I can trim my own bangs, no big deal. And you get the scissors out and try to trim your bangs. And sure enough, they're always too short. That is what it kind of reminds me of. It's what us girls like to do is mess with our hair and when we don't have it we have our wigs to mess with so somebody who had this before me so that's not really a problem to me the bangs are still here see i brushed it down okay you can do that if you want bring this all down and forward a little bit And if you want to scoot the cap down a little further to make those bangs look a little longer, you can. All right. So I have a hair in my eye. I'm trying to do these videos for you girls. He's in the bloopers. I'm leaving them in. All right. Next thing, uh, Doug will probably poop on it. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that, but it could happen. Anyway, I have to tell you, that is a trip. Um, just before I, I shot this, someone called me on my cell phone. So, and I didn't realize it, but when someone calls, the video stops. So it's take three now. No complaints, right? Um, back to bio hair and wigs, okay? So my bio hair has alopecia. So I have very little of it left. And I've always worn it short. So, um, basically the cap part right here on the very top, that part is very receding for me. So it goes back to here. All right. And then has this U shape that's almost bald. You might as well say, and then the rest is short, like a little pixie. Whoop. <laughs> Bloopers. Sorry. <laughs> Took you for a ride. Um, underneath. And then I have a wig grip that I wear and it's soft and velvety underneath this and it's a fall day. So it's only going to get up to maybe 65. And so I think this little number will be cute to wear today and show you guys. And plus it's new for me, even though it's secondhand. And uh, so consider reds if you, you know, I used to be a blonde, uh, born a blonde went to Mousy Brown when I was a teenager. Um, didn't love that, but back then, um, 
most people were putting like blonde highlights and they weren't doing auburns. So that's kind of what I gravitated to, okay? So you kind of get used to your own look, but I'm an artist, so I like to play with color. So that might be benefit you all because you get to see different shades on me. And hopefully it'll inspire you to be a little more adventurous with your looks and have fun with it. This cut is like a short, not a short, but a medium shag, I would say. Um, now sh the word shag kind of dates me, but I'm gonna say it. I think you all know what I mean. It has layers, all right? So the layers here, use my fingers to pull it up and kind of show you. It's just layered throughout. Okay. So you can piece it out and use the layers like that to get fullness. I mean, if I really wanted to scrunch and use product in this, you could really get some volume to it. Okay, you can get more of a round uh, evening look or you can do more of the tuck thing if you like it flat. You use the heat of your hands, the heat of your hands just to kind of tame it. Again, with product if you want to or just let it be. A comb can also do that if you like more of a perfect look but I find it's more natural not to have the absolute perfect look. I like um, it to look like a nice breeze went by and separated the, the fibers a little bit. And I'm gonna call them hairs. I know everybody else calls them fibers and I, I just fell into that. But for us, this is our hair, all right? So let's respect it and let's call it hair. Because that's what we're trying to do here. Um, that's not a preachy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know what I mean? We're no different. We're not wearing fibers. We're not wanting to look like we're wearing fibers. So why are we doing that? I just want to change that. All right. Alternative hair is better, but it's a mouthful. So it's more hair today. How your journey's going with either alopecia or just your life. I hope it's okay. Hope things are getting better all the time. You take care. I know I love you from the bottom of my heart. Bye bye. You take care. I know I love you from the bottom of my heart. Bye-bye.